American politics for the last decade or so, more Americans have been identifying as politically independent than either Democrat or Republican. And now's Tara Hall with what's behind this change. If a recent Gallup poll is any indication, both major U.S. political parties could be in trouble with American voters. Trust in government has gone down quite a bit. People uh, don't trust the government to do the right thing. Uh, they think most people in politics are corrupt. Elizabeth Vanami, a political science professor, says that's leading voters away from the Republican and Democratic parties. What we've seen over time is an increase in negativity or hostility towards both political parties. And so when you say, how do you feel about the Republicans, how do you feel about the Democratic Party, you see this quite negative attitude people have. And so those are the individuals that are starting to say, well, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat, I'm an independent. 43%, that's the number of Americans who currently identify as political independents, according to a recent Gallup poll. Now that is a seven point difference from 2008. I actually think that that 43% number is gonna to continue to rise because you can't produce good policy with a bad process. And that's the situation that we're in today. We've gotta to focus on changing the process and make it more democratic. We have to transfer power from the parties to the voters. And we need a whole set of structural reforms in order to be able to do that. While both Banami and Salit speculate that Americans will increasingly identify as independents, neither believe voters will completely abandon voting in a two-party system. What they anticipate is that candidates and politicians will instead change their rhetoric to better appeal to American voters. Reporting for The Now, I'm Tara Hall.